Okay, my next one is Oxa Origins. All right. So this, first of all, these guys have absolutely gone mad. They've got 200,000 in their Discord. Um, they have about 50,000 on Twitter, uh, 45.9. But they, um, they really have a unique take to the art. The artist of this project is a been involved in a lot of different uh, things. His name is Laurie Gaintrand. He was an artist for Marvel, Netflix, Disney, uh, Disney, sorry, a senior concept artist on famous names like Avengers, The Witcher, Robin Hood, The Jungle Book, The Fantastic wow. Four, and even Nike. So, I mean, you know, she's she's really got an a incredible background um, and, and a CV. Um, so the art and the art is no different. You basically have three different tribes. The one is Luxion. All right, and they these guys I really love. I, I'm big into steampunk. I think it's a, incredible. And basically, it says here the steampunk people stay true to their ancestors by keeping their human bodies. They build rustic yet robust equipment, scavenging metal parts from battlefields and destroying robots. They're using a subsonic communication system to adapt to multiple storms hitting the planet. Then you have Naya, looks like half human. Um, so living to the trigolite capital in national caviars, protecting them from the unbearable heat of the desert. The Tewe, I hope, I hope I'm saying that right, the Tewe people are serving the Anokye and ensuring their protection. For this very reason, they are training relentlessly. They prefer noble weapons such as daggers and spheres. And then you get the cryo. And the cry are weathered, beaten, and saddled. Um, these people are following the herds that hunt. Once the hunt is over, they cork in tents and they return to the heat accumulating during the day while they sleep. So the artwork is, is really beautiful. Um, their team is mostly doxxed. Um, if you, I'll get back to the roadmap now. So you'll see here we've got Instagram and ArtStation links there. Instagram and LinkedIn, Instagram and ArtStation again. Here we've got a LinkedIn, which is fine. Here's just the OpenSea link. Here's also just an OpenSea link, OpenSea link, and LinkedIn, LinkedIn. So, I mean, look, you don't have to worry with, with this of it being a rug pull. I've seen it mentioned in many, many, and, and cross-promoted cross in many reputable projects. Um, so you don't have to worry, but I just did find that quite interesting um, in general. But it's not a red flag to me because of um, the projects that have that have been involved here. And then if you look at the roadmap, it's quite complicated. You know, they... They're saying that they're going to be the first, just want to find the right wording for us, collaborate to earn RPG game on the blockchain, allowing land conquests, social experiments, tribe alliances, and in-game governance. So they're the first project that's doing all of that. Um, Q1, yeah. So Q1 is uh, Genesis. So the storylines introduced, which it pretty much has been, um, the collection size is seven, eight, nine, eight. Just so that you're aware, the mint price is zero point three, which is quite high. Um, yeah. But but again, this is a very high quality project. Yeah, you got to weigh it up and see what else you can get for that. If you if you're looking at buying an ape dad. Or this, I would buy this, and they're at a similar price. Um, but but still, a zero point three is not nothing. However, I have no doubt it will it will jump definitely before pre reveal, and I have no doubt that there will be a gas war. Um, there, as I say, two hundred thousand people in their Discord. Then they'll be doing collabs. Um, there'll be a token revealed in in Q one, and uh, there's going to be staking at three percent. Then, if you look at Q two, that's when the lands will be introduced. There will be your first monthly quest your token and other rewards will come into play. First leg legendary animals revealed. So I imagine that there'll be a drop, a, a free drop. Oxa dungeon. So that's the in-game items. And you saw all the different tribes. Some prefer indigenous weapons. Others prefer other weapons. That's when that will come into play. Q3, nobility ascension, breeding and genesis land rewards. Risk Hunter, that's the play, uh, the, the playable side of it. Landlord Rent, Land Utility and Token Payoff. And then 10% of the OpenSea royalties will start going to nobility. And Q4, 
Oxo Origin Marketplace, blessed players earn land, social party on your land. Um, so again, going into the metaverse, sacrificial room, Origins Universe Unveiled. And then 2023 to 2024, where the whole Oxiverse activate with all the planets, lands, and ecosystems, and they basically go into the metaverse. So a very well put together roadmap. Um, again, as you heard me the other day, I love it when they go past this current year. Um, I just show that it just shows that they're thinking about the future of this. It's not just oh, when we sell out 100%, this is what we're going to do. It's like this is what we do in Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and thereafter. So yeah, great project, good one to look out for, um, and I'm excited for it also. I think it's really cool. Uh, any project that has uh, like a uh, story or lore built out early on. I, I love that. That that just gets me going. So this one uh, is definitely something I might look into. That yeah. Point, point, three ETH is, point three ETH is steep, but I think like it would be worth it. With what they're trying to build here, it sounds really, really interesting. Yeah, I, I think I think it will jump to close to an ETH uh, straight away. So even if you just want to buy it for a flip, um, I think it's pretty safe to do so. Um, they also have a box blocker, a bot blocker in Discord, a, a well-known one. So they, they're basically saying to everyone, this is 200,000 legitimate people. There's obviously no way to know that for sure, um, uh, to be honest. Um, but still, I mean, that Discord is popping all the time, as you would expect, even with 50,000 people in it. Launch date, 5th of January, so two days away. And as we said, the price, 0.30. So yeah, good one, limited to two NFTs per user wallet. Nice.